Welcome back to the Multimedia Perfusion book of the CV de Becke Education. Today we'll cover less common sites of venous cannulation for cardiopulmonary bypass. What happens when the anatomy or procedures requires an alternative cannulation site? Okay, let's take a look. One of these sites is the nominate vein. It is isolated. And uh, an umbilical tape is passed around it to control blood flow. A purse string suture is placed and uh, an incision is made to uh, insert the cannula. The nominate vein can be used when the ISVC cannulation is not possible, when the ISVC is uh, inaccessible or in hybrid or minimally invasive procedures when the femoral vein alone does not provide adequate drainage. The cannula is positioned to ensure ad an adequate upper body drainage. A tourniquet uh, secures the pre-string suture around the cannula, ready to be connected to the perfusion circuit. Femoral vein cannulation is often performed before the chest in incision. It is particularly useful in reduced cases when chest adhesions increase the risk of injury. This site allows safe and quick starting CPB, especially in uh, emergency situations. The femoral vessels can be uh, accessed using uh, either the open cut down or percutaneous uh, uh, sliding technique. A piercing suture is placed and uh, a needle is inserted uh, to pass uh, a guide wire that will lead the cannula into the right atrium. The vessel is then dilated and the femoral cannula can be inserted. When the cannula is carefully inserted into the vessel, uh, a tourniquet secures the purse string suture around the cannula and now is ready to be connected to the perfusion circuit. Here an alternative SVC drainage. What I mean? What should you do if CPB has already been started via the femoral vein but the surgeon now needs to open the right atrium? You need to isolate the right atrium and the simple solution is to establish superior vena cava drainage through a small incision. Here we see a standard cannulation of the ISVC. The vessel is uh, first isolated and encircled with uh, an umbilical tape. A purse string suture is placed to secure the entry point. An incision is made, the hole is enlarged and uh, the cannula is carefully inserted into the superior vena cava. Up to this point everything is standard, you know.
To ensure continuous venous drainage, an additional 3/8 inch venous line can be directly connected uh, to the uh, reservoir of the CPB. With both the upper and lower body now adequately drained into the venous reservoir, the surgeon can proceed safely with the atrial incision. Thank you and uh, see you to the next chapter.